How's it going? My name is Brent from Encore, and today I'd like to show you how we install paint protection film on a Dodge Challenger Hellcat hood. First, I'm going to tack the two top corners, and I'm going to put a little stretch in between them. So you can see I pulled it over there to the left a little bit, and then I'm going to tack that corner down. It's important that you do a little bit of a stretch from side to side so that when you pull these fronts, you don't end up with big fingers in the middle on the back end of that scoop by the windshield. So I'm putting some stretch on that and basically what I'm trying to do is something they would kind of call like glassing this out and that's basically just eliminating all fingers from it on all of the edges. So you can see I've got some fingers there on the right side in the in the middle there that I just hit with my hand and I'm trying to basically get rid of those. One thing I'm going to notice here real quick is that this is going to be too much tension as far as I'm concerned. That's going to be too much tension in those recesses. So I'm going to go ahead and lift up the back, add some more soapy water, and then I'm not going to stretch as much so that the film will relax into those areas better. This is going to create some fingers on the sides of the hood. And so we're going to have to just watch and make sure that those don't get too big. And I'll show you what I'm talking about on the other side here. So again, I'm gonna pick it up, release that tension, and then I'm gonna spray some more soapy water in there. It's important to keep everything real, real wet and moving around so that you don't want any spots tacking down before you've squeegeed them out. So definitely on this hood, what I'm finding out is that on the front, the stretch from left to right is the most important. So that you get rid of those fingers that were in the center in the on the front of the hood. The rest of these fingers are all very manageable. All right, so I went ahead and used my arm there in my palm to push out as much of the air as possible. And then I'm gonna go ahead and go over to the other side and do the same thing. And what you'll notice on this side is that as I move it around, the fingers like right in front of me there on the on that left side of the hood, they start to get it starts to get pretty big. There's a pretty big finger right there. And that is not going to be something that you're going to be able to push down later. So I'm going to need to stretch the film a little bit towards the back of the car or towards the windshield, basically. So you'll see as I stretch it here. I'm going to put a little bit of weight into it and then you can see that finger get much smaller so that's going to be something that's very manageable that we can work with. So it's a good idea to get out as much of the air bubbles and the air big air pockets like that as possible because those areas because they're not touching the car and they're just hanging basically with air in there they'll start to dry the adhesive will start to cure and so it'll become incredibly tacky. And that won't be good for the when we come back to that area to squeegee it out. So you can see with the squeegeeing, I'm doing a lot of over, overlapping and I'm putting a lot of pressure on the squeegee. And the overlapping is just gonna make sure that I get all of the soapy water solution removed from underneath the paint protection film. That's definitely important because any water bigger water bubbles that you leave in there are going to turn into air bubbles when they dry. So at this point, I still haven't used any tack solution. So I try to install a majority of what I can without ever using tack solution, unless absolutely necessary. And you'll see here, I'll definitely be using tack solution. It's completely necessary on this hood. But in these other areas where I don't need it, I don't use it. And 
it definitely takes a while to figure out, you know, how to learn how to squeegee and how to hold the squeegee in these type of recesses to get the water out to you know, make sure you're not leaving anything behind. All right, so this is gonna be the first area where I'm definitely gonna need some tack solution to get those fingers to stay stuck down, as well as on that top corner there. So when I squeegee this out, what you'll notice is that there'll be areas where I stop and I hold once I'm off of the top of the hood. And what that holding does is I'm holding that one small edge and putting a lot of pressure on it to make it stick down. And that keeps that finger from returning. So something that you'll notice on, the, on this top corner is that I'm actually gonna have to tuck the film in between the hood and the fender. And that's because when this hood is opened up a little bit, the fender is actually standing a little bit taller than the hood is I guess a little bit proud and that will cause the film to want to lift up off the hood and so tucking it in will solve that issue And then over to this side, I'm pulling the material back up just a little bit. And because I haven't used any alcohol in this area, lifting it up, or I guess any tack solution in this area, lifting it up is entirely possible. And I don't have to worry about having any lift lines when I squeegee the material back down. But the reason that I'm lifting that back up is because it's that part has been sitting for quite a while while I've pushed out the rest of the hood. And it started to tack down a bit. And if you allow if you just continue your install without lifting that area up and untacking those spots, when you pull the soapy water through that area to squeegee it out, you'll end up distorting the adhesive. Then that'll be super noticeable in the final product. Or, I mean, super noticeable is kind of being, you know, that's like a, kind of being dramatic about the whole thing, but it will we'll be noticeable in the final product. And that's kind of part of the art of installing paint protection film is getting it all installed and not having those you know lift lines or areas where the the adhesive is distorted again i had to add some uh, rubbing alcohol there and you'll see again because those fingers definitely want to pop back up that i will be going over the edge and then holding on the edge and putting pressure on the squeegee and that'll really tack those areas down a little bit of rubbing alcohol again and then i'll be tucking this in between the hood and the fender as well and so certain areas that i want them to stay stuck down that i feel are gonna might pop up a little bit i'll go ahead and hold with my finger that was something that I just did on that top corner, and you'll see me doing more of that as we get into the vents and things on this hood. And 
just keep double checking for any areas that are lifting up that you're working on. And if they, you do have any, go ahead and put some more rubbing alcohol in there and then tack the, you know, stick those down real good. This spot here in the center had a couple little fingers. We're going to go ahead and take care of those now. And again, you can see me squeegeeing over the edge there and then holding. So now we're going to work on this first vent here. And what I'm going to start with is trimming out the center of this material. And what that's going to accomplish is it's going to help relieve a lot of the tension in that area. And that'll make it easier to conform that material down into that recess. What I'm spraying on the material here is just hot water and that will help the film become more malleable and sink into that recess. It just also helps relieve some of the tension. What I'm spraying now is a bit of rubbing alcohol because we're really going to want these areas to tack down so they don't continue to pop up over and over again. So a technique that I'm going to try here is holding with one hand and then squeegeeing things out with the other hand. I'm just going to push that, that air out with my hand. It's not going to work so good on the inside there, but it will work good on the outside of that same recessed area. So I'm going to end up just holding the material down with one hand and then squeegeeing out with the other hand. And once you hold it in place for a few seconds, especially if you've got some tack solution underneath there, that spot will stick down and you don't have to worry about it popping up again. So on this side, you'll see me use that technique again where I squeegee the air pockets out with my other hand. And it actually works a lot better on this outside recess than it did on that inside one there. So areas like this can definitely be a little tricky. All right, so there I just sprayed some rubbing alcohol underneath there again, and which is the tack solution. And I'm gonna go ahead and just push that area out. And then we're gonna move on to the other vent on the other side. It's basically just gonna be the same exact process. On this side, I actually skipped using the tack solution right at the beginning and I had to come, it started to pop up on me and I had to come, I have a, you'll see here, I'll have to come back and add it. This is actually just hot water just to help the film um, 
contour a bit and relax into that recess. A majority of my installs, I won't need to use the hot water, but on something like this where you're really, you know, trying to get that material to go down in there and just relax without a ton of tension on it, it's definitely a helpful, definitely a helpful step. So as you're watching me do this, this is actually me figuring out how to install the paint protection on this hood while I'm doing it. This is the first time that I've ever done this exact hood. You know, I'm doing cars I've never done uh, on a regular basis. That's that's pretty normal when you install paint protection film. It's not like you just get to do one car over and over and over again. You end up doing you know, a new car all the time, basically. So it's something that you get real used to as far as the install process of figuring out as you go. So if you're watching any part of this and you're like, oh, I don't know if he knows exactly what he's doing right there. <laughs> that could be a little bit true. Uh, maybe I don't know exactly uh, how to get that part down yet. I'll certainly figure it out. So this is still just hot water that I'm doing there and actually, or that I'm spraying on the material there. And that'll work for majority of the area, but some of those deeper recessed spots are definitely going to need some alcohol, you know, some of the tack solution. And you'll see me using that here <laughs> pretty soon when the material, if you can kind of see there, it's popping up more towards my, uh, towards my body there on the bottom part of the screen already starting to pop up and I'm realizing that I'm going to need some tax solution under there. So what you're watching here is you're watching me figure this hood out as I go. You know, constantly doing vehicles and hoods and fenders and just parts of cars that you've never done before and this is the first time I've ever actually worked on one of the, or this exact hood So that was actually, I'm going to actually, so I set down the, the hot water bottle and then picked up the, the rubbing alcohol bottle there. So once you get the, once you put the tack solution underneath there, you're going to want to get that area stuck down pretty quick. And you don't want it popping up a bunch of times because that's all going to leave lift lines in the adhesive. And so it's important that you just, you get it tacked down really quickly and have it not come back up. So we're moving on here to the scoop, the center scoop on this hood. and. Again, I'm just going to go ahead and trim this material to relieve some of the tension. 
It's definitely better if you trim less material than to trim too much. Uh, we want to leave enough material that we can actually wrap this material into these areas and then attach them to the underside of the hood. And that just helps them from popping up later. But obviously if you trim too much off, <laughs> you're going to be starting over from scratch and uh, this is not a time you want to do that. <laughs> It could be incredibly frustrating when you cut off too much material and you're you're basically going to be starting over from nothing. So you're, you're going to be taking this entire hood off. So here I'm just using the hot water and then I'm putting some tack solution underneath so that these areas will go down and stay stuck down. So you're gonna see I'm putting a little bit of tension there with my left hand and I'm pushing down on the material in that area so that when I come through and squeegee that down that the material stays stuck. The other thing that actually that pulling on it like I was doing there helps with is that when you squeegee across it, you can kind of bunch the material up and then you can fold it over on itself and that'll definitely, you know, leave a distortion you can't get rid of. So with that tension that I'm putting on it there, putting that little bit of tension on the material will keep it from bunching up. So just a little bit more tack solution. I'm going to finish kind of wrapping these edges out of sight on the hood, you know, off of the top part of the hood. This hood, I will be stopping the video just after this part of the install. And then I'm going to release another video coming up soon that will be trimming the edges and wrapping all the edges underneath the hood. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and dry the hood off and that allows you to be able to really take a look at all the areas and make sure that you didn't leave any of the slip solution stuck underneath the material. As I've mentioned before, you know, those type of things are going to leave air pockets when they dry. So you just want to make sure that you've gotten all that out. All right, well, I'm going to be wrapping up this video right about here and there will be another video coming out soon that finishes off this hood that will basically just go over trimming the edges and then wrapping them. So if you'd like to get a notification when that comes out, please subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.